It's DJ Dr. Shell. Dice is on the beat. We had a really good shoot around today. Energy was great. Um, we, we went a little harder in shoot around today because of the lack of practice time we've been able to have. And, um, you know, I think for, for whatever reason, even though we mentioned it, we just we didn't think that they were going to come out and, and play that hard. Uh, and, and play that well. This is uh, a great teaching moment, a learning le learning moment for our, our guys as far as everybody in the NBA is, is good. And uh, just because we beat a team twice doesn't mean that we're better than they are. And, and tonight, Phoenix played harder. They played tougher, especially the first half. I thought the second half we did a really good job of competing, but it takes more than a half of basketball. Uh, to win games, uh, but they, they, they definitely deserve to win that game tonight. How about Kuzma specifically in that second half, 28 of his 30? Yeah, well, we, when, he, when we're playing the right way and we're playing with energy and competing, uh, you know, he's, you know, he's a, he's a matchup nightmare for, for teams. Um, but in the first half, he, you know, he took a bunch of shots that were off balance and quick and, and not what we were looking for. And I think in the second half, he did a much better job of taking what the defense gave him and, uh, you know, getting his feet under him. Uh, so, you know, credit to him for turning it around in the second half. Um, but we need, we also need better starts, uh, you know, from not just him, but from our team. Look, you guys have been pretty consistent defensively this season so far. Did you take a little bit of a step back with that mm -hmm. tonight? And wh oh, why sorry, so the Philly wasted? game we did. Yeah. Sorry, finish. I didn't mean to cut you off. Just, Just you know. why do you think that was? Oh, I think that's natural. We haven't, with the minutes people are playing right now, we haven't had any real practice time. That's why we're starting to try to make shoot arounds a little harder so we can get some real live reps at things. Um, and you know, there's, you know, as you're, you're building, it, it, you know, you're on that on that path. It's it's never a smooth path. It's never just you get it and then all of a sudden <clears throat> you don't have slippage anymore. Every team goes through it. Um, you go from you know the top of the league with the Warriors and the Celtics. There's going to be stretches that they have slippage. Obviously, not as much because they're uh, elite right now, but. Um, the important thing for us is that we learn from our mistakes. Uh, we keep our head up and we keep working and and grinding away uh, to to get to where we all want to be at. Luke, do these teams just not get along? Like, why? What do you think goes into three skirmishes in three games? No, well, I think both teams are young, so these guys know each other pretty well. Um, they, I'm sure they all grew up playing AAU against each other and. Uh, the games have been, you know, they've been close, so that always makes the competitive spirit come out a little more. And I think because of the fact that we played three times in such a short amount of time, it's kind of like the same idea behind a playoff series. By game three, four, five, it starts to get chippy. Um, and I think, you know, that all those play into it a little bit, why the games have been like that. Luke, what, right here. what's the balance as a coach? Dealing, you said they're young, where you kind of say, okay, it's okay that some things aren't happening the way you want, and then being demanding as a coach and saying it's not acceptable that these things that you want aren't happening. Where's that line, or have you found that line? Um, it is I, – I don't really know how to answer that question because the line is there, and you walk that line every day because um, you need to encourage them. Uh, to to have the confidence in themselves uh, when when they're uh, at this stage of their careers, um, but you also need to point it out and make sure that they know that that's not how we we do certain things. Uh, for example, tonight we had four or five turnovers in transition. That I love the fact we're trying to get out and make plays for each other and play fast. However, we can't afford to just throw the ball around when we have scoring opportunities after getting defensive stops. Um, so uh, I, I will continue to cur encourage them to push the ball and run those lanes and look to throw it ahead. And in film tomorrow, we'll show them and, and talk about 
you know, whether the risk reward is there or not. And at that point, you know, on those, take the ball till someone stops you back to uh, transition, you know, basketball 101 until you, you have direct line until somebody stops you, unless there's someone open ahead of you, take the ball to the rim. So it's a constant uh, back and forth uh, with that. Luke, do you think that the younger guys understand how important it is to, to win these games at home because it's so much harder on the road with a young team to get those games? Um, to a certain extent, I'm sure they do. Uh, you know, I think that like anything else in this league, you learn more about that as you go through it and, and you really, you know, you, you hit some of these road trips and play in these buildings where it's it's you have to play near perfect games to win um, but I'm sure they're aware of the fact that we should be taking care of our home court I thought we did a really nice job of it before this last road trip and we were playing really solid and, and getting the crowd into it um, then you go on the road trip and the whole the everything changes the mindset the way the game's played and then sometimes you kind of forget what it what it takes at home uh, and I, f I feel like that kind of happened to us right now. Uh, so we'll, we'll work to get that back.